home decorating for the RV. Hi, this is Jim from RV4x40.com. Welcome to the channel today. And as you can tell from the lead-in topic, this is not something we have done before, not something I have done before in particular. But one of the things that we found with our Tiffin motorhome was that the artwork that was hung on the walls was pretty much blah. We didn't think it was particularly great. I'm sure somebody at Tiffin that picked it out thought it was okay, but one of the things about it was, except for one picture, uh, they were all really oddball sizes. Roughly something like uh, 19 inches by 7 inches for the opening, uh, the actual artwork itself inside of the matting on three different frames. Two of them horizontal, one of them vertical. And I'm sorry I didn't think to take pictures before we thought about doing this video, but can't show you what they actually looked like. But take my word for it, they were very nondescript, very plain. So, I've, as you will tell from the channel, I've taken a lot of photographs over the last four years or so, and going back further than that even. And we wanted to hang some of our own artwork in those picture frames. We thought about replacing the frames, but then you have the holes in the wall. They were screwed in as opposed to some of the mounting techniques. You have the holes to fill, or else you have to figure out a way to cover up the holes uh, with whatever you're going to hang in place of it. And I'm sure a lot of you have done that, have replaced that artwork and whatever is in your particular RV. But I, I just wanted to go through a technique that we used, and part of it's because of my photography background, we could do this. So we picked out four photographs uh, that we thought were uh, representative of the journey we had taken, places we had been, places we had particularly liked, and ones that lent themselves to be actually cropped or sized to fit the frames that we had. They were done in such a way as we could cut the prints to fit the matting of the existing frames. It was a simple matter to take the paper off the back, replace what was in those frames, and we replaced the paper on the back and then put them back up in the exact same spots. This is one way you can do it. Another way you could do something like this would be to actually have multiple photographs. And again, may, you may want to have them in a custom size to fit the picture frames that you have. That way you don't have to worry about filling holes in the wall. And it's something which is fairly easy to do. We actually have a website we've set up. It's jrusselltxphotos.com. I'll put a link in the description down below. And at that site, you can go and see some of the things we have done and some of the things we could do. So if this interests you, go check out that website. The other thing is there's a site over on PicFair, and I'll put a link to that down below as well, where we've put up some of the images we've taken and used in the videos. So if you've seen something you like and want a print of it, you can go there and get a normal print. If you wanted to have it custom sized or custom cropped to fit something in your particular situation that is a non-standard, you can contact us and for a relatively nominal fee we can take care of making that for you. This is a way to support the channel. We appreciate everyone subscribing to it and watching it, of course. But this is a way you could support the channel with a little bit of income for us. Take a look at the results of how we read the pictures in our motorhome. This is typical of the wide pictures we have. You can see it's very wide and not very tall. So it does take an unusual shape of a picture to actually fit into the frame. This particular one is the entrance to Garden of the Gods in Colorado. And you can see Pike's Peak just to the right of center in the background. We also had one square picture. This particular one was a 6x6 six six opening in the matting. This is a picture of Denali in Alaska, which we love. So that fit very nicely in this frame and cropped very nicely into the space allowed. The last example is the same size as the horizontal picture, but it was turned vertical. And so a waterfall fit naturally into that vertical space. In order to fit the pictures into the existing matting, which makes life somewhat simpler, you need to know the width between the two sides of the picture opening right to the matting. So you want to measure between the left and right side of the matting. That will give you the horizontal dimension or the width. And then you're going to do the same thing in a vertical dimension so you can get the vertical or the height dimension. Those two dimensions determine the size of the picture you want to have eventually printed. A couple of things will have to happen. First is that we would crop the picture to probably about a quarter of an inch larger than your dimension so you have a little bit of wiggle room, about an eighth of an inch all the way around to line things up and make sure everything fits perfectly. And then we have to find the smallest standard size print that will take one. 
these prints were 19 by 7 inches, and so a 16 by 20 would fit. It was a lot of wasted space, but about the only way a print shop will actually print the pictures is if it's a standard size paper for them. In some cases, the lab might trim it to you to size, but in other cases, you can easily trim it with a pair of scissors. Here you can see the image that was actually printed and what came back from the photo printer with white bands on either side of it. This was the Denali picture, so the actual image was 6 inches by 6 inches. The opening and the matting was slightly smaller than that. And here you can see a different picture that was done in the horizontal format. And you'll see there's a little bit of white space on the left and right side as well as a lot of white space on the top and the bottom. That's a 16 by 20 print and set up specifically to fit the picture frame. And we did the same thing for the one as the waterfall is just turned on its side for purposes of printing and it gets rotated when you install it into the frame. Well there you have a short version of how to do a custom sized picture, a custom cropped picture if you will, to get a different aspect ratio, width and height that fits your particular needs. And so if you're interested in doing that, contact us at the links down below. We hope you're having a great week and staying safe with the COVID restrictions that are still part of our lives at this point in 2021. And we hope to see you back on the channel next week. If you haven't subscribed already, we'd appreciate it if you would click the subscribe button down below and keep up with us every week.